This is question number 178 from chapter 1 of J.B. Gupta's book and the question goes like this. A human nerve cell has an open circuit voltage of has an open circuit voltage of 80 millivolt and it can deliver a current of and it can deliver a current of 5 nano amperes through a load resistance of 6 mega ohm. What is the maximum power available from the cell? So we are being asked to find the maximum power available, right? Maximum power available at the cell. So for this, what we have to do is, this is a question that is a bit tricky. So uh, let us try to approach this. So we have got a open circuit voltage, which is equals to thevenin voltage, and we have got a load current. So from this information, we can find the internal resistance of the nerve cell. So let us try to construct a thevenin equivalent circuit to this. So we are trying to find the thevenin resistance. We have got the thevenin voltage to be equal to 80 millivolt. And here we have got the load to be equal to 6 mega. And the load current is equal to 5 nano. So let us put simple uh, Kirchhoff voltage law such that we have 80 milli is equal to 5 nano R thevenin plus 6 Pfizer 30 I have got a mega and a nano I have got a mega and a nano nano is 10 to the power of minus 9 mega is 10 to the power of 6 so I will have a milli here I have a milli here so I am going to take milli from milli common from all these so that 80 equal to 5 micro RTH plus 30 so this will be 5 micro RTH is equals to 80 minus 30 so 5 micro r thevenin is equals to 50 so r thevenin is equals to 50 divided by 5 micro if i send this micro onto numerator it will become mega so 5 ones are 5 tens are so the thevenin resistance is 10 mega ohm. so this is the thevenin resistance or internal resistance of the nerve cell so we have got the open circuit voltage to be equal to 8 milli and the thevenin resistance to be equal to 10 mega and we intend to find the p max so from maximum power transfer theorem we know the formula for p maximum which is equals to v square by 4 times r thevenin or r load which is equals to 80 into 80 milli into milli will become micro divided by 4 into rth rth is 10 into mega so here we have 6400 micro divided by 40 mega. If I send this mega onto numerator, it will become mega will become micro. So here micro into micro will become pico. So here I have 640 divided by 4 pico watts. That is 4 ones are 4, 4 6 are 24. 4624 160 picowatts. Let us try to observe the options. So we have got picowatts in option D, but it is 16. So let us try to change the units. So we have got a nano here. So let us try to put nano. So nano, if I try to make this nano, it will be 160 divided by 1000 nanowatts, which is equals to 0 0.16 nanowatts. So option A says it is 0 0.16 nanowatts. So for question number 178, the answer is option A. This question is a bit weird one, I know, but uh, this is actually good, right? This is a very good question. So for question number 178, the answer is option A.